Hi, welcome to Virtual CB One A. This is Miss Rena, and a continuation tayo ng basics of geometry. Today we're going to talk about segments and their measures. Goal one: using segment postulates. So we have two postulates that we are going to discuss in this video. The first is the ruler postulate and the other one is the addition of segment postulate. In geometry, rules that are accepted without proof are called postulates or axioms. Rules that are proved are called theorems. In this lesson, you will study two postulates about the length of segments. And the two postulates are uh, the postulates that I mentioned earlier. So let's start with the ruler postulate. The points on the line can be matched one-to-one -one with the real numbers. The real numbers that corresponds to a point is the coordinate of the point. The distance between points A and B, written as AB, is the absolute value of the difference between the coordinates of A and B. AB is called the length of the line segment AB. So, balikan lang natin yung idea na absolute value because we are going to make use of it in this lesson. So, if you have the absolute value of a certain number that is positive, say for example, we have 2. The absolute value of 2 is still 2. When you have 0, as your number, the absolute value of 0 is still 0. And then if you have a negative number inside the absolute value symbol, say for example we have 3, the absolute value of negative 3 is 3. So the rule is to always change your sign into positive except for zero. If it is already positive, then wala na tayong babaguhin. But if you have a negative number, just change it to its positive uh, num positive counterpart. Uh, so, set theory, if we have the absolute value of x, ang rule niya, it is x if x is greater than 0, so wala kang babaguhin sa symbol niya, such as 2. Uh, the absolute value of 2 is still 2. Kasi greater than 0 siya, or positive siya. Um, 0 if x is equal to 0. So 0 is neutral. It is neither positive nor negative. So wala tayong sign na i-attach. So the absolute value of 0 is still 0. And if you have... A negative number x less than 0, then you have to multiply it by negative 3. So, itong rule dito, hindi lang natin siya sinusulat. If you have the absolute value of negative 3, it is actually equal to negative times negative 3. Yun yung negative x. Ang x natin is negative 3. Okay? So, if x is negative 3, then negative x is equal to negative times negative 3, which is equal to 3. Pero sabi ko nga kanina, para hindi na masyadong mahirapan, basta nakakita kayo ng negative sa loob ng absolute value, paglabas niyan, positive na yan. Okay? Okay, that's good. Burahin ko lang to, tapos diretso tayo. So, balikan natin yung figure natin dito. So, the name of points are points A and point B. And they are placed in coordinates X sub 1 and X sub 2 respectively. So, si A ay nasa X sub 1, si B ay nasa X sub 2. So, para makuha mo yung distance between A and B, so, ang gagamitin lang natin ay yung symbol na AB. Wala siyang uh, symbol sa taas. It is equal to the absolute value of the coordinate of B minus the coordinate of A. But since they are enclosed within 
uh, the symbol for the absolute value, pwede yung magkabaligtad. So, pag nalito ka kung sino sa x sub 2, sino sa x sub 1, hindi yan, hindi yan laging required na kung sino yung nasa right, yun yung ima-minus din sa kabila. Kaya tayo may absolute value dito. Kasi kahit sino sa kanila yung maging x sub 1, x sub 2, okay lang. So, pag nabaligtad yan, x sub 1 minus x sub 2, you will still end up with the same answer. So, let's have an example. Lagay tayo ng ruler. Hindi pala yan. Or ito na lang din mismo yung gagamitin ko pala. Yan, lumabas na siya. Gamitin na nga natin siya. So, ito yung ruler natin. Ayan. Napakahaba dito ruler ko. Ah, napapalit siya. Ano ito yung move? Oh, di ba sabi ko sa inyo, nag-aaral pa lang din ako <laughs> paano ito gamitin. So, ano ko siya? Uy, makasama ka. Ayun. Ganun pala siya. So, palitin pa natin siya. Ayan. So, hopefully, kita niyo yung mga numbers along our ruler. Drawing ako ng line. Ayan. Tapos, plot ako ng dalawang points. Yung isang point ay nasa 1. Yung isang point ay nasa 4. Tapos kunin natin yung distance nila. Visible naman, di ba? Ito yung 1. Ito yung 4. So what's the distance between 1 and 4? If you're going to make use of the ruler... So, all you have to do is to count the number of units between 1 and 4. So, meron ka dito. Talayo ko lang siya ng kante. Meron ka dito 1 unit. Meron ka dito 2 unit. Tapos ito yung pangatlong unit, 3 unit. 3 units. So we know that 1 is 3 units away from 4 and vice versa. 4 is 3 units away from 1. Pero paano kung masyadong malaki yung number mo? Uh, Tapos yung isa sa kanila, positive, yung isa negative. Kasi, di ba, sa number line, nag-extend siya indefinitely on both directions. We are not limited with whole numbers in mathematics. Uh... Banda-banda dyan, mag apply na tayo ng coordinates. Pwede siyang mapunta sa negative x-axis or sa negative y-axis. So, paano ang gagawin mo pag ganun? Hindi mo na siya pwedeng tingnan visually na, ah, isa, dalawa, tatlo. Ganun lang siya kalayo. So, gagamitin natin yung formula dito. Yung x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So, let's erase our guide here. And then, let us use x sub 1, 1, and x sub 2 is 4. So, this is point A, this is point B. So, to get the value of AB, which is the length between A and B, gamitin natin yung formula na x sub 2 minus x sub 1, which is 4 minus 1. And you will end up with the absolute value of 3. Or 3. Sabi ko kanina, pwede siya magbaligtad. So, pag nalito ka, 1 and 4, okay lang. Nauna mo si 1. Tapos sumunod si 4. Why? Because we are talking about distances. And distance is always positive. So, we have here the absolute value symbol. 
magkakaroon ka ng absolute value of 3, which is also equal to 3. So, itong dalawang to, parehas lang sila ng value. Kasi, same coordinates lang yung ginamit mo for A and B. Okay? So, don't worry if na-confuse kayo, hala, sino si X sub 1, sino si X sub 2. Okay lang yun. Kasi, pwede silang magbaligtad. As long as you have the absolute value symbol in your equation, you will end up with the same answer. Please don't forget that, okay? Ayan, meron pala tayo dito isa pang example. Finding the distance between two points. So, ito yung sa ruler postulate kanina. So, all you have to do is to align your ruler. So, align one mark of the ruler with A, then estimate the coordinate of B. So, dito, uh, ang given natin for A ay nasa 3, tapos yung kabila nasa 5.5. Um, kung gagamit ka ng ruler lang din, tapos ang given sa'yo ay A and B, pwedeng i-plot mo na rin siya sa zero para hindi ka na masyadong nahihirapan. Pero, if in case hindi kasi siya given, nabawa, kung ako talaga magsusukat nito, ang gagawin ko, i-align ko na lang siya dito sa zero para kuha ko na kaagad yung value niya. But not th that is not always the case. So, minsan, may mga problems na hindi siya nakaplot sa zero. So, ang gagawin natin, hanapin natin yung coordinate ni A, tsaka coordinate ni B. Dito, ang coordinate ni A ay 3. Ang coordinate ni B ay parang nasa 5.5 daw. And then, make use of your formula. So, A, B is equal to absolute value of X sub 2 minus X sub 1. Or, pwede makabalik tayo. So, X sub 2 is B. That is 5.5. And, we have X sub 1 is in 3. So, we have the absolute value of 2.5. Or 2.5. Ganun lang kadali si ruler postulate. Now, let's move forward to the other postulate. As I told you earlier, we are going to have two different postulates for this lesson. So, the second postulate is the segment addition postulate. When three points lie on a line, you can say that one of them is between the other two. This concept applies to collinear points only. For instance, in the figures below, point B is between A and C. Siya. And point E is not between D and F. So, C si A, B, C I contained on one line. So, they are collinear. Si D, E, F, si D, F lang ang contained in one line. Si E, iksolo siya dun. So, this is... A set of points that are not collinear or non-collinear. So, ang sinasabi sa atin is segment addition postulate. If you have three non, uh, if you have three collinear points, A, B, C, and if B is between A and C, then A, B, yung length ni A, B, plus B, C, length ni B, C, is equal to A, C, length ni A, C. If AB plus BC is equal to AC, then B is between A and C. Let's have an example. Ay, wala pala tayo example dito. Activity ka agad. Go on example. Uh, itong si A ay nasa 5. Itong si, v, si B ay nasa 7. Tapos itong si C ay nasa 13. Ayan. So, tingnan natin kung mag apply si segment addition postulate. Um, AB. Ano ang sukat ni AB? Ang sukat ni AB ay 7 minus 5, which is equal to the absolute value of 2, which is equal to 2. Ano ang sukat ni BC? Ang sukat ni BC ay 13 minus 7, which is equal to the absolute value of 6 which is equal to 6. Punta tayo sa um, sum. AB plus BC is equal to AC. Kung between daw nila si B, then, yung suwat ni AB, which is 2, 
plus yung suot ni BC, which is 6, must be the length of AC. And that is 8. Ngayon, i-check natin kung totoo siya. Paano? So, di ba may coordinate tayo ni A, which is 5, and may coordinate tayo ni C, which is 13. So, AC is equal to 13 minus 5, which is equal to the absolute value of 8. Therefore, AC will be equal to 8. And this is true. Okay? nag apply lang to again if B is between AC. So, sabi ko dun sa announcement natin sa classroom, I will be answering some of the activity items from your book. Tapos yung iba, kayo na yung magsasagot. So, let's measure the length of the segment to the nearest millimeter. So, dito kailangan nyo ng ruler. Uh, labas natin yung ruler ko ulit. Ayan. Ito yung ruler ko. To the nearest millimeter. So this is, plot lang natin dun sa pinakang dulo. Sko, dapat malinaw ang mata mo dito. Sa lang sasagot ako, ayaw AB lang. Kaya na yung bahala dun sa iba. So, in centimeters, this is 3.5. Tama? Oo. This is 3.5 centimeters. I-convert lang natin siya sa millimeters. There are 10 millimeters in 1 centimeter. So, times lang natin siya. We have 35 millimeters. 35 millimeters. Kasi from our ruler, we have 3.5 centimeters. And approximated value natin. Ito, yung 14 and 15, kuha kayo ng ruler, tapos uh, check nyo kung gano'n siya kalaki. Now, move na tayo dun sa susunod. Draw a sketch of the three collinear points, then write the segment addition postulate for the points. Ay, maganda to. Uh, sagot ako si 1921, tapos, try nyo si 2022. Or, i-post nyo tong video, sagutin nyo rin si 1921, para ma-check natin kung parehas tayo ng sagot. Lagay ko lang siya dito, paliitin ko lang. Invisible pa naman. Punta tayo kay 19. Sabi ni 19, E is between D and F. So, sketch natin siya. Pagkos tayo ng ruler. So, set ko lang to sa zero para straight line tayo. Drawing on a line. Then, sabi sa kanya, E is between DF. So, si E ay nasa gitna ni D at ni F. Tapos, write segment addition postulate for the points. So, we have here D, E. Since si E yung um, point in between plus E, F is equal to yung larger segment natin pag pinagsama si D, E at D, F. Uh, EF, which is DF. So, this is the answer for number 19. 
Yung tayo sa kabila, number 21. Gawin tayo ng line segment. M. M is between N P. So, nabawa nandito si M. Nandito si P. Nandito si N. Basta nasa gitna yung letter or point na define, kahit gaano kalayo siya doon sa dalawa pang points, okay lang din naman sinabi dito kung ano yung sukat nila. So, we have N, M, plus the other segment, M, P, is equal to the larger segment, N, P. Ito lang yung, ano, yung segment addition postulate niya. Uh, punta tayo sa logical reasoning. Sagutan natin si... No, kaya? Q, R, at si P, Q. So, in the diagram of the collinear points, P, T, which is equal to 20, and Q, S, is equal to 6, and P, Q, is equal to Q, R, is equal to R, S, find each length. Oops, sorry. So, gawa tayo mga markings dito. Ay, sorry. Ito ko siya ilalagay. So, si PT, itong laking to, ay 20. Tapos si QR, uh, QS, ay 6. Tapos ang sabi, si QR daw ay equal kay RS at saka si PQ. Since ang elements lang naman ni QR at saka ni... Ang elements lang naman ni QS ay si QR at saka si RS. So, siya na lang yung gamitin natin. We already know what QS is. But we don't know what QR and RS's length is. So, equal daw sila sa QS and using our... Segment addition postulate, we know that QR plus RS is equal to 6. Yan. Since QR is equal to RS, pwede na lang natin siyang ilagay na QR plus QR. Substitute natin yung value ni QR for RS since same value lang naman sila. So, this is substitution property of equality. Therefore, you will have two QR. Dalawa na yung QR mo. Which is equal to 6. And two. 2, ayan, divide natin both sides by 2 to get the value of QR. QR will be equal to 3. Therefore, QR is 3, RS is 3, and so is PQ. So, si QR, na-compute na natin siya, this is 3. Si PQ, 3 rin. RP. So, RP, edi PQ plus QR. PQ is 3, QR is 3, so RP is 6. So, kayo na yung bahala dun sa iba. Next na pala, SP. Uh, PQ, QR, RS. Yun si SP, which is 9. May mga techniques dito sa pagsasagot nga pala dito. So, if you want, uh, since unknown si QR, but we know that it is equal to RS and it is also equal to PQ. Pwede mo naman gamitin kahit na anong variable. Halimbawa, uh, X. Gusto mo gamitin yung value na X. So, si QR ay equal kay X. Si, Q, uh, si RS ay equal kay X din. So, pwede siyang maging imbis na QR plus RS is equal to 6. Pwede siyang X plus X is equal to 6. So, we have 2X is equal to 6. Divide both sides by 2. X is equal to 3. And that means that QR 
RS and PQ are all equal to 3 because X is equal to 3. So, uh, free kayo na gamitin yung knowledge nyo from algebra. Do not confine yourself with my solution. If you can think of your own solution in solving this problem, as long as mapapresent nyo siya sa akin ng maayos at tatama yung sagot nyo, I will accept your answer. Last na to. So, suppose M is between L and N. Use the segment addition postulate to solve for the variable. Uh, then, find the length of LN, MN, and LN. Ayan. Pagamitin natin ulit yung knowledge nyo sa algebra. So, LM is equal to 3x plus 8. MN is equal to 2x minus 5. LN is equal to 23. Para hindi tayo malito, drawing natin yung graph niya. So, pag tinignan mo lang yun, naku, kung malilituin ka, wala na. It is always helpful to draw a graph when dealing with geometry problems and also other problems in other branches of mathematics. Napaka-helpful ng gra graphs sa pag-visualize kung ano ba yung kailangan mong hanapin. So, sabi niya, M is between L and N. So, here we have LM. Ito, si LM is equal to 3. Sigatan natin dito. 3x plus 8. Si MN ay 2x minus 5. Tapos si LN daw, itong kabuuan niya dito, is 23. So, disregard muna natin tong dalawang to. Dito lang kayo titingin sa 31. Mag-construct tayo ng segment addition postulate for this problem. It is going to be LM plus MN no, kayo. is equal to LN. So, si LN ay 3x plus 8 tapos si MN ay 2x minus 5 tapos si LN ay 23. So, substitute nyo lang yung mga values ninyo. And then, combine like terms. So, ito ay substitution. Tapos, ito ay 3x plus 2x tapos plus 8 minus 5. Kung gusto nyo diretsyo na 3x plus 2x, okay lang din naman. You can skip this part. 3x plus 2x is 5x. And then, 8, plus, uh, 8 minus 5 is 3. And all of this is equal to 23. Now, we have to use addition property of equality. We have to isolate 5x. We have to remove 3. So, para magawa natin yon, minus tayo ng 3 on both sides. Yan. Therefore, you will have 5x is equal to 23 minus 3. We have 5x is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 5. x is equal to 4. If you want to skip uh, the parts na uh, hindi naman kayo masyadong malilito, 
okay lang na ano na skip nyo siya. So for example, uh, this part here where we showed the application of addition property of equality. Pwede nyo na to tanggalin. Pwede nyo diretsya na. Uh, Lagi ko dito isang example. Ngayon lang ako mag ha, magiging detailed on the computation. Kasi nagsisimula pa lang tayo. But since you already have knowledge on algebra, I assume na alam nyo na itong mga sinasabi ko dito. And I don't need to uh, write the reason for every step. Katulad dito, uh, isang beses ako naglagay ng reason substitution. Doon sa iba, hindi na. Nagkahang na yung laptop ko. Kailangan na natin matapos. So, we have 3x plus 8 plus 2x minus 5 is equal to 23. So, sabi ko kanina, kung alam na gagawin, pwede na mag-skip. 3x plus 2x. We have 5x. 8 minus 5. We have 3. Is equal to 23. Diretsya na. 5x is equal to 23. Minus 3. 5x is equal to 20. Divide both sides by 5. x is equal to you will end up with the same answer. Pero, uh, visually, mas po konti yung mga uh, lines natin for this solution. Now, let's find the value of LM and MN. So, since we have here x is equal to 4, for LM, which is equal to 3x plus 8, magiging equal to sa 3 times 4 plus 8, which is equal to 12 plus 8, which is equal to 20. So, LM is equal to 20. And obviously, since you have here 20 na kaagad, and the whole is 23, we know that this is only 3. Uh, dun sa graph natin, hindi siya mag-fit kasi nag-assume lang naman tayo ng locations nila kanina. Pero ang value niya is 20 and 3. If you want to check MN, pwede kayo mag-substitute ulit. 2 times 4, since x is equal to 4. Minus 5, we have 8 minus 5, which is equal to 3. And it matches our assumption earlier that MN is equal to 3, since LN is equal to 23 and LM is 20. So that's it for today. Thank you very much for listening. And next time, we are going to discuss the distance formula. Uh, gagamitin na natin yung Cartesian coordinate system. So if you are unfamiliar with plotting of points, pag hindi kayo familiar sa Cartesian plane, sa addition and subtraction of integers, Please pakireview na para mas madali nyo siyang may intendihan pag nandun na tayo sa distance formula. So thank you very much for listening and bye-bye!